So we're gonna take a look at the herbs here. Guys, subscribe if you haven't already. And also click the notification bell because, well, you don't wanna miss out on anything. And I don't want you to miss out. And oh, instead of white rice, this is a grain. One thing can do so many things for you. It's not like a prescription pill. So your genetic disposition is that you will receive or get, you know, diabetes or high blood pressure. Jazzing with Jazz of jazzingwithjazz.com. I'm Jazz, of course, and today is Vlogmas Day 11. If I had 11 fingers, I would put them all up, but one hand is over here and the other is holding the camera, and I only got 10. So, <laughs> welcome today. Welcome today. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. And I'm in the house chilling, y'all. I did seven rides today. If anybody wants to know, um, I did seven Uber rides today and then I came in the house. I'm kind of just like, you know, it's a little slow. Um, Uber, the Uber app is getting on my nerves because they are having some, they're like making edits to the application, but it's really interfering with like earnings and like accepting rides. And so I was just over it. Plus, I kind of started late, and then it's currently 7.50 p.m., so maybe I'll go out tonight, but overall, I was tired, and I wanted to take a nap, and I needed some rest and some rejuvenation, <laughs> so I said, honey, ain't no Uber vlog. I know that you guys are really, really loving the Uber ride-alongs, um, and I was just like, you know what? I want to share some stuff because this is stuff that I'm into, and I think that it could help people especially if you're driving uber if you're doing instacart if you're out in the field okay no matter what you do you can probably benefit from this so up here you guys i have all of my little herbs i have my herbs so we're gonna take a look at the herbs here and um i'm just gonna gonna i'm just kind of gonna go through some things that i take often to keep my immune system high Especially at this time. And so, uh, let's see if we can make this happen. I don't know. We're we going to have to, we gonna have to see, honey. Well, I'm literally cleaning. Oh, I didn't clean it out per se. But this last cabinet was full of stuff. This stuff is up here too, but whatever. Who cares? Um, this was in there. And then I have these herbs in here. Um, and then, yeah. So, we're kind of just going to go through some herbs and stuff that I do like to take, um, that you may want to take if you want. Y'all, I'm sorry if this doesn't look how it's supposed to look. The lighting is bad. Can't do nothing about it. But I'm going to introduce you guys to what helps me, okay, stay healthy. <laughs> First one, you guys. We're gonna start off with the Black Root Tonic. Now, on my other channel, I have a video, I made this video like mm, four years ago, could be, about this tonic. It's a 17 herbal compound, 17 herb, oh, what? It's a seven, it has, my dude, it has 17 herbs in it, okay? Um, could be more at this point, I don't feel like counting, but I love this company, the Beck Company. Um, if you go to their Instagram page, you can check it out, but I also made a video about this on my other channel. Three, four years ago, the video has helped many people, they say, um, has helped their business, which is so dope to me. <laughs> and he actually sent me some product years ago because, you know, I guess it was an effective video. But that video um, pretty much has all the herbs in it. Um, probably a few herbs that are different, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Check out the video. But anyway. The black root tonic is gonna help you with so many ways. Like it's gonna, what? Oh my God, no, 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 y'all. This black root tonic, okay, it gives you energy to the point that you don't need coffee. I personally like coffee. Um, it helps you, it helps your digestive system. I'm just gonna give you some general things that it can help you with um, because I take this literally every morning. And I, even when I eat horrible, I still take it. Things are more effective if you live by like an alkaline or at least a plant-based diet. Um, whole foods, no processed foods, so none of the fake meat. 
I'm so sick of people in this fake meat, honey. If you just if you just gonna eat the fake meat all the time, seven days a week, then you just eat regular meat. Because you're eating processed food, which is way worse than meat in itself. I mean, depending on the meat, but Jesus. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> is check out that video. This is something that I, I take every day. It has a bunch of herbs in it. It's good for your blood. It's good for your skin. It's good for your digestive tract. Um, yeah, check out the video up here. So let me put these back in the refrigerator because we can't, honey, we can't afford to mess that up. Okay, so then something that I take all the time or something that you can take, I probably said this before, but echinacea is really, really good for your immune system, especially at this time. Burdock root, I tend to take this at night. That's also in that black root tonic, but this is a really good blood cleanser. Um, it'll also help your digestive tract um, and it'll help to, um, or well, it'll assist your joints and the, the lymphatic system as well. So you guys know the lymph nodes help your body um, uh, remove toxins and push out or protect it from free radicals and stuff like that. Um, and so Irish moss, now, here we go. Irish moss or sea moss and or sea moss, whatever. It's, it's, this is some fad as of the last year or so, but check, go to my other channel and check out my video on sea moss and how I get fresh sea moss from Jamaica and all of that good stuff. Got some cacao powder, high in antioxidants. I use this when I want some um, like hot chocolate or something, if I want something that's sugary and then um, a little bit of agave nectar and then add like some warm um, macadamia nut milk. That's my favorite milk. Flax milk is also my favorite. Oat milk, um, any milk that I have, even if I have coconut milk, it'll make it a little bit sweeter, but I mix this with it. Sorry, y'all. Um, I don't really drink this tea like that. It's like some kind of detox tea. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. These are just like drinking teas. They have certain effects to them, but, oh, um, this is like Irish moss tea or Irish moss. Basically, let me tell y'all, tea, people think that teas are just like, tea is the process of dry, putting dry herbs into boiling water. That's what makes it a tea. <laughs> so when I have the fresh herb here, when I have a fresh herb, that is comes from a plant a tree or the ground whatever the case okay all i do is put it into a thing like this or it's a newer right here put it into one of these honey put it in some hot water and call it tea i don't know what people will be thinking sometime but this is only tea what to the extent that you actually put it in some hot water <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is something I take randomly. Elderberry is also really good for your immune system. Oh, and nettle root is good for um net oh I'm saying nettle root down. Yeah. Nettle root is uh good for like inflammation. I mean honestly, let me tell you something. Any problems that you have, they can most likely be resolved unless it was something you were born with. Um majority of them, if you like for example, diabetes, okay, high blood pressure. These things can be reversed, okay? And um, everything is contingent upon your consumption, AKA eating habits. So a lot of people like to say, oh, well, my family, uh, how do you say? Diabetes runs in my family, high blood pressure runs in my family when it's not something that runs in the family, it's just something or a particular way that your body responds. So your genetic disposition is that you will receive or get you know, diabetes or high blood pressure in the event that you do the same things that your ancestors or elders, elders, did I say that right? Elders did. So that's that. Um, so, it's really about what we're consuming. I have, I even have some like other stress teas and stuff like that. Um, but something I take all the time too is soursop leaves. I get this from my local Botanica. I thought I had one that was open, I guess not. Um, she sells it for like $3. I think it comes from Mexico. Or this one, I don't know where she gets this one. This one. Yeah, I think Mexico. 
Um, I don't know. She gets me from somewhere. Ah! But they just dry the leaves and put it in a bag, and it's a couple dollars. But this is really good for your immune system. This is the anti-cancerous as well. Um, these are just things I take in rotation. Some things I take every day. Um, oh, here's the open, the loose leaf. Doesn't smell like anything, but AKA Guanabana. Other uh, cultures call it, everybody has their own name for it, but at the end of the day, in English, it's soursop. Or you could just eat the soursop fruit, you know what I mean? But uh, it's a tropical fruit, so I don't got none right now. Um, something I take all the time every day, uh, every day, every, every other day, depending on how I eat, is olive leaf. This is really, really good for fungi, okay? So um, people who have gut issues, or say like a lot of people, have a manifestation of yeast in the body so of course women having yeast infections or people who have eczema uh people who have a lot of dandruff um what else yeast aka fungi aka um yeast in the body candida people who suffer from an overgrowth of yeast in the body get you some olive leaf and boom you're good to go Herba Mate, I was just drinking this uh, right now because I want some coffee, but I haven't had coffee today. So I ran, out, I ran out of green tea, and so I went to the store to go get some Herba Mate because that's the next best thing. Um, dandelion root is also something that I take occasionally. Um, Y'all, I'm not going to go. I, don't, I just don't see myself going through this. I just don't see it. It's too much stuff in here. But let me see. What else do I have? Um, oh, Moringa Olifera. So this, I must say that this is not the most potent brand of Moringa that I have had. It's not bad. Same for the sea moss. I prefer fresh sea moss, but as I've said in many of my videos, again, check out that video on my other channel. Sea moss is something that I keep in my house because, um, Sea moss in, 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 um, in, oh, sea moss in, 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 oh, in coordinates? It's not the term. Sea moss in connection with bladder rack contains 100 and contains like 98 of the minerals that the body needs. Sea moss and bladder rack together. <laughs> sea moss contains a high level of minerals that your body needs. So a lot of people like to focus on like uh, protein. First of all, I did a video on the six nutrients your body needs, so you can click on that video too, y'all. <laughs> but literally, the body needs water, uh, fats, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and yeah, that's it. Um, people would say fiber is in that list, but those are the nutrients that your body needs. <laughs> those are the nutrients that your body needs, so... When people are so fixated on like protein and stuff, your body needs minerals. Those also help your body to function properly and your organs to run properly, which is also why I take the tonic. Um, so yeah, um, what else do I take all the time? Oh, bladder rack. So the bladder rack with the Irish moss is amazing. This is actually an Irish moss powder. Like I said, I prefer Oh, it stank. I prefer Dr. Sabi's powder or his daughter's powder. She, uh, you know, Dr. Sabi has passed away. God rest his soul, okay? One of our ancestors. I love him. He taught me so much, and I ain't never met him, but I watched a lot of his, um, how do you say, his, his lectures. I study his stuff. I bought his products. I prefer his sea moss, which I haven't bought in it. I haven't bought in it. I haven't purchased it in a while, probably since he passed, but... Um, hmm, what else? Um, yeah, I prefer his or his daughter's sea moss. And then, oh, I was getting some moringa. Moringa in itself, oh, I need to close this, contains about um, eight times as, as, as much vitamin C as an orange, uh, four or three times as much um, calcium as a glass of milk. It's very high in nutrients, y'all. I'm just, I'm one of those people that'll mix this in water. This is just powder. <laughs> but I used to put this in smoothies. I mean, I'll do whatever with it, honestly. Whatever's clever, whatever I feel like doing. It's a green powder. 
Um, but I feel like at this point in time, if I was y'all or if I was me, cause I am me, <laughs> I don't really focus on potency. Um, like I used to be into the whole organic stuff and like, oh, everything has to be organic. And like, I mean, it's nice, but realistically, um, I mean, some honestly, sometimes I'm into organic stuff because I don't believe in eating a orange that doesn't have a seed. I don't believe in eating watermelon that have the little white seeds. I want to see black seeds. But if I want some watermelon, I may just settle. It depends. You know what I mean? But um, like like I was just telling you, as far as Moringa, I actually um, get a brand from Zaylock 23, or I get a brand, get fresh um, Moringa from Ghana um, that... Zaylock would get but I'm just like whatever I just buy I think I bought this from Natural grocers, you know what I mean same for the sea moss. I'm just like as long as I have something I'm good But yeah, you guys um ginkgo biloba Did I say that right? Yeah, god, um, I use that for memory. I have a lot of memory I don't want to say I have memory issues. I don't claim that I just think that some shit is important and some things are not this this vlog gonna be mad long. Sorry y'all. <laughs> Say sorry. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Rude. Um, but I don't suffer from memory loss or anything. But I will say that um, it helps me be more alert when I do take it. I rarely take it. Um, I just kind of take it sporadically, or I like to keep it on hand. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, I used to get headaches when I would take it and I guess it also is a slight blood thinner Same thing for turmeric. I love turmeric. I use turmeric on my skin and in my products that I make um Which is a which which is can y'all see that? Okay <laughs> Which is a anti-inflammatory Astragalus root is also really good for your immune system. I guess this video could be about immune stuff because honestly I don't feel like going through anything Yellow Doc is also, this is giving me laxative vibes and I'm pretty sure this is for, uh, it's a good laxative. It'll help you just uh, um, flush out whatever's in your colon. Not everything, but it'll, it'll push some stuff out of you, honey. Trust me. Um, whole, oh, these are, ro these are rosebuds. I guess I should probably, yeah. I don't want to throw them away, but you can probably see the rosebuds there. I take that, that's really high and really good for your skin and your immune system. I actually drink it anyway guys I pretty much went through the stuff that I take a lot um, anything else ain't really that important um, also what you can take I gargle with this y'all know I love Costco I got the Kirkland brand Himalayan sea salt I gargle with this uh, I soak my feet in this um, you can make body scrubs with this but <clears throat> it's, it's granulated so um, but also I used to make a salt sole with this just something to give you energy in the morning. I used to take that um, I used to I used to I it's so the thing is There are so many ways to skin a cat. I think that's the term or that's the saying <laughs> No, I think it's it's a multiple there are multiple ways to skin a cat right um, but the thing is, when it comes to herbs and when it comes to natural things, they do so many. One one thing can do so many things for you. It's not like a prescription pill. Natural things naturally give you um, clear skin, uh, help you to keep your bowel movement regular, helps you to sl stay slim. Um, that's why I suggest eating from the earth. Now, all the time, you know, we're just, sometimes you just like food. I like food. I don't want to say I'm a foodie, but I do like food. And so I, I went between like being vegan and then like being like on an 80% uh, plant-based diet. Um, but the only reason I do all of that is because I know that I feel better. I feel so good if I'm eating properly. Eating properly meaning being on a plant-based diet, um, consuming foods from the earth, eating uh, stuff like farro instead of white rice. This is a grain. Same with like amaranth and teff. Teff, I mean. Um, I don't think I have no black rice, or do I? Uh-oh. This is one of my favorite rices. It's like a black, a mixed rice. 
it's very nutrient dense um and it's a complex carb so you guys know simple carbs are things like that have been refined to the point that they don't have any nutrients in them they just they're gonna digest really quick in the body and then like in an hour you'll be hungry you ever notice like when you eat chinese food chinese food be bomb but you'll be hungry like an hour later so yeah y'all uh, i just wanted to share some of this stuff because i feel like it could be helpful and this is part of my blog process i guess because well I don't know it's part of my vlogging <laughs> so yes you guys i just wanted to share some of this um i'm probably not gonna drive for the rest of the evening honestly i'm just tired i just want to break so you get today you get this vlog and i don't know i hope it helps you or not but like this video you guys subscribe if you haven't already and also click the notification bell because well you don't want to miss out on anything and i don't want you to miss out and like also again comment down below and tell me the types of videos y'all want to see i want to know but yeah all of this stuff helps me to stay intact when i'm driving um to keep my immune system high to keep me high energy i'll be around here yelling and shit that's why <laughs> but no honestly i'm getting older in age i'm getting up in age and even when i was 21 um you know herbs herbs and eating properly rever reverse a few things for me um so yeah you guys that's it <laughs> sorry the lighting was so bad <laughs> thank you guys for watching stay at peace and in love